Hey guys, good afternoon. It's the 6th of June. Let's do a quick US 30 analysis. Um, I'm going to show you guys a trade that I took as well yesterday. And I took an L on that one, which was not great. But um, I will show you guys that and then we can get that over and done with, okay? Um, bear with me. I took it on the pin bar, so mm, let me just turn all this back on, okay? Actually, we don't really need this right now. All right. Oops. Give me a second, guys. Let me find you the trade that I took. I took it under one minute, I'm pretty sure. So there we go. So I ended up taking an L on this one. It was really frustrating because it literally came almost to my take profit area so i would have ended in a, in a good profit almost passing the funded account challenge on this one but i got stopped out by a couple of pips so that was just annoying um so this is the trade i took i took it on this bearish pin bar to the downside i took it on this one here um yeah on the rejection of the 50 moving average so it was it is what it is really so it took me out on this weight here really but it crossed above the uh, 200 moving average did a fake out and then dropped it so it was i took i put my stop loss above the previous zone here so there's a zone right here um so yeah so i drew this out like that so i put it slightly above that which was great but not that great because um it literally wanted to you know to a previous high here not even didn't even go there yeah i just did another liquidity grab to the top side and literally faked everybody out and then dropped right back down to almost my take profit to be honest so yeah so this is just one of those trades there was a lot of other opportunities but this was throughout asian really um yeah, no, this was throughout the night. I didn't go in after that. I didn't take... See, the thing is, because I already lost, so I took a slightly higher risk on this one. So I lost, um, I think, $800-ish. So I'm down 0.8%. So now my total, I'm up by 5.6% in total. So I didn't want to go into another trade again and take another loss or uh, whatever that may be the outcome. So it's not that I'm pre-definitely going to be a loss, but sure, didn't want to go into it because I've already taken an L on this one and I do want to go into another trade because right now we are very close to passing the funded challenge and I don't want to, um, you know what I mean? But so I think for the, the rest of the next couple of trades, I'm going to have to take it really slowly. So the risk to reward ratio, the risk tolerance is going to be a lot more tighter on the next few ones. And so it's going to be like small losses and small wins as well rather than trying to go for a massive hit because it's possible. But at the same time, I do think that um, I need to be a bit more careful because we don't want to end up losing consecutively and then having to make them all back. So yeah, so I'm at 5.6. So I do have like about 2.4K left to go. So which is still not too bad. So that's that's the update for the 100K challenge, guys. Okay, so let's just take a look at, I just leave this lot off the pin bar. Let's just take a look at top-down analysis. To be honest, I don't think I'm taking a trade today. Do you know what? I always say that and I end up doing something and then taking a trade later in the day. But anyway, now, if you can see US 30 on the daily time frame, you can see it obviously touched the top of the uh, trend line. And I like what I said, I, I did think that price was going to go up further before it dropped. But it do, did do a small drop yesterday. I'm going to just delete this because... Oops, where's that? Okay. Just because, bear with me, guys. I'm just going to delete all of this. That's just who we're right here. Okay. Um, that is basically, I did think that it was going to go up first, but then clearly price decided to do a drop. So I'm actually really not like, I don't have a clear direction to what price might do. I do think price will try to do a fake out to the top side first before it does a retracement. Um, I'm just going to wait it out. So that's just my analysis for today because I did really think that I didn't expect price to do this small retracement and it did. So on a four way, you can see I'm expecting price. I'll just do the fit for you guys. I'm expecting price 
to come right down even further. Actually, I'm just going to do it to the body, to the body, slightly here. So I'm going to put this actually. I am, this is a 0 0.3 plus minus. I'm just going to shift it a lot. Oh gosh. Okay. 0 0.5. Okay, so then let's delete this. Okay, so I was expecting price to come a bit more deeper into it to do a retracement before it goes up, since it was already doing short sales, but clearly it's not doing it. Okay, so it's it's just not giving me the retracement that I want. Um, can I just quickly see this actually? No. Okay. Um. Yeah. Bear with me, guys. Yeah. So I do think that price is trying to push up just because I'm gonna turn on my MACD line. Just because I do think that. It's a. It's try, starting to form the fan on the four hour. Having said that. We do have a crossover to the downside on the MACD, so it's something to keep an eye on, guys. Like it could possibly just tank, um, take the take out, do the retracement, and then go for the buys. So as of today, I'm actually just gonna wait it out because though this looks promising to the upside, this is giving me a different confluence signal, which it makes me feel like okay. So on a higher time frame, it has done a cross which I would be careful on to see if it's actually going to do a nice fall. So let's just drop to the one hour. Okay, on a one hour, you can see that it was falling. It's come very close, but it hasn't done a cross to the upside yet. So again, like I do feel like, yeah, it's on a downside on the two hour. So I would actually just wait it up. For all you know, it is actually going to go down so these are the areas of interest for me, like I've marked out on my FIB. So once it hits these areas, I will be looking to see if there's a change of structure or a break of structure really on um, the lower time frames to see if it's starting to form like, you know, towards the upside. Um, and so that's when I'm going to enter the buys. For now, price, I do think it's just, you know, you look at this on the five minutes, like this is just awful. Like, you know, and I feel like I don't want to be caught out in this trap where price is just teetering between here we want nice drops you know where it's a nice beautiful drop like this is this is still not too bad but the crossover only happened here we didn't really get much here anyway um we want like the nice buys that we had on friday that was just perfect look at that like this swing guys like this are quite nice there okay so for me right now the, the chart just looks messy guys so it's not something i want to get myself into and i'm not going to sit here and gamble away because i do feel like this is really messy right now um so i am going to wait for a structure so what we really want to see is this okay we do want to see price do a massive rally and then come down for a small retracement and that's when we are getting in guys okay so as of now i do want to see a push down rally um and then wait for the retracement to happen and then i'm entering so that's when we know we're getting a good entry in and we know we're going to get the next push down okay so that's just that my um my analysis for today just to see where price is heading but these areas of interest is where i would be keeping my eyes on the 0 0.3 0 0.5 0 0.618 um and of course if it does go all the way down is that's for another thing for us to just keep watching what price action does along the way but as of now um i'm just gonna wait and see what price does really because honestly uh it's not giving me anything like okay it's clearly gonna go in that direction you know obviously on the long term i'm looking to see i'm looking to see price rally upwards but now the question really is i'm looking as like today what is it i'm looking for and um personally i think i am looking for sales just because i do think price is going to tank um based on the lower time frames i mean the higher time frame especially on the four hour because it has crossed and um, normally when it crosses it does give a push down like look at all those crosses like when it does cross 
we do get a push. When it crosses, we do get the push down, you know. So, um, yeah. So, I will be just keeping my eyes on this. And uh, we'll see where we go. But I do. So, short term, I am looking for sales. But once the retracement is completed, we are looking for buys to the upside, guys. So, keep an eye on that. And, we, and carefully trade. You know, watch your risk management. And um, happy trading. And see you guys back on another video, um, hopefully tomorrow. Bye.